you're looking for a new wallet, you may have seen a lot of the big brands out there. The Ridges, the Exters, the Bellroys. And while those brands are great, truth be told, there's a lot of new up and coming wallet brands out there that freaking rock. Meet seven amazing wallets that you've never heard of. First up is the Reform card holder. There's actually a slight chance you may have heard of Reform because they've been kind of blown up recently, especially in the carry community. And deservingly so, because they're making some of the coolest high-tech wallets that I've seen yet. And it really comes down to the material they've chosen, which is, and I read, chloral sulfonated polyethylene synthetic rubber? Can't pronounce it, but I can tell you it's awesome. It's just got a different feel to it. It's got a sleek look to it all while keeping it super slim and low profile. It can hold six to nine cards and or folded bills. It comes in one color option, black. Reform offers a lifetime warranty. And for all that, it runs around 76 US dollars. Some of the features, love its magnetic closure, slim profile, super lightweightness, and the fact that the materials are waterproof. And if you want a bit more organization, Reform also offers a coin sleeve version where you go ahead and get a coin sleeve right there and a few other features. To learn more about the Reform wallets, take a look at the description below and you'll find links to more information. Number two on the list is the Slimfold Micro Soft Shell. As the name might suggest, Slimfold is known for their wallets that fold very slimly. Probably the slimmest wallet I've ever touched, reviewed, seen. It's slim. But that slimness doesn't come at the compromise of quality materials or quality design. And what's cool is all of these wallets are handmade in San Francisco. It can hold up to eight to 10 cards, it comes in seven color options. It's backed by a five-year warranty and it runs around 57 US dollars. Some of the features, obviously can't go wrong with that super slim profile. The materials are waterproof and very lightweight. And some versions of their wallets come with RFID blocking protection. And if you're like, that wallet's a bit too small for me, Aaron, don't worry, Slimfold has a larger version called the original that can fit up to 20 cards and it's only $2 more expensive. To learn more about the Slim Fold wallets, take a look at the description of this video down below and you'll find links to more information. Number three on this list is the Axwell wallet. And we're gonna use the copper for the primary example. But truth be told, Axwell has a bunch of options, including their original and the new Damascus steel versions, which just look tubular. <laughs> That's the perfect, I, I didn't mean to say that word, but like these are tubular as hell, man. But the copper version is a big hit. Ultimately though, these wallets are known for their manliness, right? They're hard shell, really heavy, but incredibly durable. You'll, you'll never need another wallet ever. And they're modular. So you can sort of decorate as you want and add some modular parts on, a little mix and match. Gotta love customization, right? These wallets hold one to 12 cards plus bills. The cards go in the middle of the two plates and the bills go on the money clip on the exterior. The copper only comes in one color option, but obviously you've got tons of different styles, materials, and other color options within those styles and materials. This nebula is so cool. Look at that, I feel like I'm in like Interstellar. The wallets will run anywhere from 100 to 150 bucks. The copper is 125, but that comes with Axwell's lifetime warranty. But it is important to keep in mind with wallets like this, sometimes accessing your cards can be a little bit more on the challenging side. Overall, it's a heavy duty wallet for a heavy duty dude. And to learn more about the Axwell wallets, whether it's Damascus or copper, take a look at the description below and you'll find links to more information. Number four on this list is the Alpaca Bifold wallet. Now Alpaca makes amazing backpacks. And when they sent me this wallet, I'm like, yeah, we'll see about it. But really, <laughs> it's a great wallet. Primarily because of the slim design, but also it's the first wallet that I've seen that utilizes X-Pack material. This is a material that is commonly used on bags, but it is always used on sailboats. The sail, the cloth of the sail, right? That's what this is made out of. And it's why it's so lightweight and so weather resistant. Never would have thought to make a wallet with this material, but it just makes so much sense. It holds four to six cards. It comes in four color options. Comes with Alpaca's warranty against any manufacturing defects. And it runs around 40 bucks. Some of the specs, you've got a couple side cash compartments highly weatherproof materials. And in case you're like, I don't want a folding wallet, I want something more minimalist, they also do a card holder version as well, which is a slot in the middle, a couple card holders on either side, more minimalist. Ultimately, I was very pleasantly surprised with both these wallets and use them in my day to day. And to learn more about either, take a look at the description below and you'll find links to more information. Number five on this list is the Monarch Wallet. Another backpack brand that's sort of dipping their toes into the world of wallets. This is a pretty nice wallet 
that's very robust and kind of badass, but is also highly eco-friendly. Monarch is known for being a very sustainable company, as this material itself is actually made out of recycled plastic bottles. It's got four card slots, including a quick access tab right here, an elastic webbing compartment for cash or loose change, and it uses a very lightweight and water-resistant material. To learn more about the Monarch wallet, description, links to more information. Check it out. Next up on the list, number six, is the Skyborn Trigger. And they call it the Trigger because it can do that, which some people love. I'm not as crazy about Trigger wallets. Not even from Skyborn, just like even like um, Exter. That's what they're known for. But don't get me wrong, it's smooth and very satisfying. And Skyborn's definitely on the premium, borderline, luxury side of products. But the price points, while high, in my opinion, are rational because of the high quality materials that they use. This can hold seven to nine cards. It comes in four color options. It's protected by Skyborn's five-year warranty. And for all that, it runs around 115 US dollars. Some of the specs. On the exterior, we have premium Italian calf leather. It's nice. It's a very nice. <laughs> I'm Italian, I can do that. The premium look and materials, I mean, I can't say enough about it. It's just, it's gorgeous. We've got a pocket right here and two card slots on the back. RFID protection, but ultimately it's gonna come down to really one, two things, two things. High quality leather materials and that. Bill's on me, guys. I don't know, do you even think the trigger system's cool? Maybe I'm just insecure about it. I just feel like if I was at, like with some of my high school buddies and I was paying for drinks, they'd make fun of me for this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna learn more about the Skyborn Trigger Wallet, in the description, you will find all the information your heart desires. And last on our list, number seven, is the Polaris Raven RFID Wallet, which also is a trigger wallet, albeit a less dramatic one. It's a more subtle one, I kinda like it. it doesn't like shoot the card out, it kinda just gives you a little, hey, what's up? Made in Poland, Polaris, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Make some really nifty products with high quality materials that come at a pretty affordable price. This Italian leather has a very glossy and smooth feeling to it. Very nice stitching along the edges. And ultimately it just feels very well crafted. It can hold up to seven cards, comes in six color options, and right now runs around 45 US dollars. Some specs. The Italian leather is probably gonna be one of the biggest selling points, but the wallet also offers RFID protection. And it's set up in a way that's kind of cool. It sort of folds up, and then when you unfold it, magic. And you got the cash compartment right there, a coin pocket here, and the spot for your cards in the actual trigger system, which are accessible even when the wallet is shut closed. And if you think this one's a bit too bulky, Polaris also offers a smaller, thinned, minimized version that just sort of opens up like this. And actually they got a bunch of wallets, all with similar levels of quality and craftsmanship. And to learn more about these wallets, Description, links to more information. If you're still watching this, it means you're super serious about getting a wallet. And we've actually done a ton of wallet reviews on this channel. This is sort of our review where we wanted to, like I said, shine a light on some of those smaller up and coming brands. But we've also done in-depth reviews on some of the most popular wallets in the world. I'm talking Bellroy, Exter, Distill Union. And we'll be sure to link to those all in the description below. Or you can watch this video right here, which is our roundup of our favorite minimalist wallets. These are some bigger brands, but between this video and that video, it'll sort of give you an idea of what the best wallets are on the market, so you can find the wallet that best suits your needs. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.